Hello, friends of Sudoku. Welcome to the April 2nd edition of the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Let's dive right in. Quite a lot of givens today. I wonder how it's going to turn out. Nine goes up here and across here. So one of these is a nine and therefore one of these two must be a nine. Four must go over here somewhere, and the one and and the one must go here. Eight, yes, an eight blocks down and down, so an eight goes in this cell here. Four must go over here somewhere because of the four blocking down and this four blocking up. A three blocks up and a three blocks down and a three blocks across, so a three goes here. Two, three, seven, nine to complete column four. There's a three and a nine here, so this is a two, seven. But I think that's all I can say about that. Of course, an eight must go in one of these squares here and therefore in one of these squares down here. The other digits must be a nine, seven, and a three. 3, 7 here. So this is an 8 or a 9. The 6 blocks up and the 6 blocks over one of these two squares must be a 6 and therefore one of these two squares must be a 6. This square is restricted to a 5 or a 9 because it cannot be a 1, 2, 3, 4. It could be a 5 but not a 6, 7, 8. So this is a 5 or a 9. Four, five, six, seven, nine for row six. There's a five, seven, nine here. So this is a four or a six. Can we do anything with that? I don't think so. But we know that a seven and a nine must go in two of these three squares here. And we know that, hang on, we got a six, nine, five, six, no. It's all amounting to nothing. So armed with the knowledge that the nine blocks up here and this blocks over and this must be a nine and a nine must go in one of these two squares. This means that a nine must go in one of these two squares. And I think I have to focus on this box here. This is a, f what did I say this was? I think it's got to be a five because it cannot be a one, two, three, four. It can be a five, but not a six, seven, eight. And we know that one of these up here is a nine. So this definitely is a five. And now we have a one, five here because we got a one, five here and a one, five here. So these two must be a one and a five pair. And that automatically means that a two and a three must find homes over here. And we have got a two and a three in this column. So these two are twos and threes. So two, three, one, five. Missing are still a six, seven, eight, nine. Eight must go down here somewhere. So one of these is an eight and one of these is a nine. Seven must go in one of these two squares. And that leaves the six. And uh, the six, I can't say much about. It, it could go here though. But we know now that one of these is a three. And that one of these is a two. Now I'm focused on sevens because these are twos and threes and a seven blocks down here. So one of these must be a seven. Is that not true? And these cannot be sevens because they are ones and fives. So a seven goes here, 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 or here. So we know that a seven must go 
in one of these two squares. And that means it can't go here. And that means that this square must be a six or a nine. But is that of any help? Not really. But what might be of help is the knowledge that this nine blocks down. And these two are twos and threes. So a nine must go here or here. Is that not true? And that's the reason a nine can't go here, here or here now. And the nine blocks over here. So this is a nine. Progress. I have a feeling that this puzzle is going to be tough today. Four, five, six, and a seven across here now. Five, seven, so this is a four or a six. Four can't go here. I'm not seeing that, at least not clearly. But the seven is blocking down here. These are twos and threes. So one of these is a seven blocking up here. So we could block out a seven blocking here and a ghost seven blocking here, making this a seven. And that gives us the seven here, of course, because we've got two sevens blocking across like so. Seven blocks down here, one of these is a seven. And therefore, all of these squares are blocked by sevens. This seven blocks this square as well. So a seven goes here. These three squares now must be a three, nine, and a two. There's a three and a nine in the row. So the two must go here. And before I forget it, these twos block across here. And this two blocks up. So this is a two. Now we got a two nine pair here. Remember the nine blocks up, the nine blocks over. One of these is a nine. And now we got twos. So these two have to be a two and a nine, making these an eight and a one. We got a one already here. So the honor goes to this square for the one. And this must be an eight. The one blocks over, the one blocks over, so uh, one must go here. These two are fours and fives. Isn't that nice? Because the five blocks up here and the five blocks up here, we got a five blocking over here, so a five goes in the corner. What about the fours? Yes, the four blocks over. Four blocks down, one of these is a four. And wasn't the other one a seven? No, wasn't the other one and a nine? I believe so. Nine blocks down. Two, three here. No, all three here could be a nine potentially. So let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So five blocks down. One of these is a five. What about a five for the center row? It could go here, here, and here. So that is not good. Three, four, five, nine, though, for this row, there's a three, nine here. So this is a four, five. These two are threes and nines. Are we any closer to anything here? Two, three, one, five. Six, seven, nine. Seven here or here. No, not really. But I've been so focused on other things that I have completely neglected to look at this eight blocking over and this eight blocking over giving me <laughs> A very easy eight for this square here. Now we're looking at a four, five, and a six for these squares. So a six must go here or here. We know that this is a four, five. Ah, but the six blocks up, doesn't it? And this six blocks over. So one of these is a six. 
blocking down the six blocks over. So this is a six and this is now a four, five and this is a four, five. And this can only be a three or a nine. This is a four or a seven. Seven and this is a four or a six. But I've also neglected to look at the ramifications for the fours and the five here, because if this four blocks down, this four blocks over, one of these is a four, but we have a four blocking over and over. So this is a four. I should have figured that out much sooner, but there you have it. Pretty slow today. So two, six, seven, nine across here in this row. That's a seven and a six here. So this is a two, nine. And this cannot be a six. Oh, that's easy. This is a six because this six blocks these squares and this six blocks this square. <laughs> so we are looking at a two, seven, nine now for these squares here. And we know that this cannot be a nine. So a nine must be in one of these squares and therefore in one of these squares and therefore in this square down here. Let me try that again. The nine blocks here. So one of these is a nine and one of these is a nine, by the way, the nine blocks down. So we know that this is a nine and this is a seven, but that's almost besides the point. That's beside the point. So uh, one of these is a nine and it cannot be this square here. So the nine goes here. We know that one of these had to be an eight and that honor goes to this square and therefore an eight must go up here. And this now must be a six. We are getting very close now. These are twos and threes and therefore this must be a seven. And these now must be a two and a nine. These must be a three and a seven, a seven blocks down. So the three goes here and the seven here. Four, five, two, three. Three, four, five. Um, thinking this must be a two. Let's have a look uh, down here. Uh, we also need a, a one. We also need a one. So no, this could be a one or a two. So let's uh, wait a little bit with that. I'm so far done with this puzzle. It must be possible to find a few more digits. Four and a seven here. Yes, the seven blocks across. So four goes here and the seven here. This four blocks over, this is now a five and this is a four and this is therefore a five. And that resolves the one five pair we had here for some time already. This one blocks up, this one blocks up, this therefore must be a one. These are now three and nines, no. I remember that three somewhere, didn't I? Yes, three here and here but the three blocks up. So these must be a nine and a two. We got a two block in this square. So this is a nine, this is a nine, and this is a two. This nine blocks up, making a nine out of this square. And now we know that this is a nine and this is a two because they were the pair that we were looking for here. Here now we're looking for a one, eight and a four. There's a one and an eight in the row. So the four goes here, this eight blocks. So this is a one and this must be an eight. This one blocks over, this one blocks over, this one blocks up. So a one goes here. Now this is a two, three and a two, three, but there is a two in the row. So this is a three and this is a two and this is a three because we know that twos and threes had to go here, right? Here we're looking for a two, four and a six. There's a four and a six in the row. So the two goes here. 
there's a four in the row, so the six goes here and the four therefore has to go here. This square must be a six, of course. This must be a three. This must be a two. Here now we're looking for a three and that has to go here and a four. And that puts a, what, a five somewhere. Yes, a five missing here. And this last square must be a six. There you go. Today's a hard puzzle and I think it was rather hard today. The previous days uh, were much easier, at least for me. But as always, it really depends on what kind of a solution path you happen to find yourself on. And this was my path today. Thank you for watching.